Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Well, in this video I will be painting an I think that would be fairly easy uh, sunset with some weed in front of it and I will be using mostly blues and some Mars brown and we'll see, we'll see later on, there will just be some light colors and also I wanted to say for those who have masking markers or masking fluid, you can mask your sun with it, just around it or the entire sun. I won't be doing that today because I know you, you don't have all masking fluids and masking markers. So I will just try to freehand it and to make it, well, just go around that sun, leave it white and well, you know what I mean. And we will first just draw you take some round object and just a second i just so i'm gonna take washi i think this will be easier and we will just sketch that sun somewhere just this is the middle part and just somewhere upper from the middle and well it should be you should sketch it light I will just take my kneaded eraser, there you go, this is it. I will take that kneaded eraser and I will just lighten my sketch. And if you don't have that eraser, just use a lightest pencil you have to make that circle because we want it to be, a little bit to be as light as possible. We don't want him to peek through later on when we make our, you know, when we make our sunset, paint our sunset. And as I said, we will be using some blues and I think I will be, I will be using some, hmm, I think I will be using some azure because I don't really want dark blue. I just want to use this one that is, well, nicely bluish this one and we will be using also mars brown we'll get to that later on i will just spray my paints to make them a little bit more watery and we will this time we will start off with privetting our paper and just if you can you can just when pre uh, privetting already you can just try to avoid that part where the sun is you know just privet around it doesn't matter if it goes a little bit in, inside it. Uh, we won't try to make it a perfect circle around it. Just, well, just go try to go around it. And it doesn't matter if it bleeds a little bit in the sun, that is fine. I'm just taking enough of the water. And well, you don't want the paper to be damped you know just but with puddles on them just privet it slightly and i just went right into this painting didn't i i usually talk a little bit more but you know all the materials also i will be using will be listed down in the description box so you can find them the list down so we will start with our blue and from the upper part of the sky this a little bit more we want this part to be the darkest and just also some here you know beneath the Sun this part we won't paint in blue that for that part we will be using I will be using some raw sienna first some raw sienna if you don't have raw sienna maybe you can use yellow ochre and just go like this around where we finished with our blue just go that part like that and then just a little bit of cadmium yellow medium or some lighter lighter yellow than the one you used for this part and just go around the sun just go like that and as I said doesn't have to be a perfect circle and upwards 
like this. And we'll also use a little bit of lemon yellow. This is just, see, quite neon pink, just around, just around the sun, like that. And just some parts going outwards also, like this. And we will use now yellow ochre and add it upwards also in that blue part of the sky because we want this part to be we don't want this part to be blue and this part just to be you know yellow doesn't look very natural so I'm taking a bit of that yellow ochre and adding it also in that lower part and the paper is starting to dry that is fine we will be finishing soon and just add again a little bit of that jour also here and there in the part where the where the yellow is like this just a little bit more on this side like that just not to have this blob yellow this blob white uh, blue and we will use some tissue paper also now just try to pick up the paint around it and you know what we're gonna do take that brush and just while this still slightly wet we will go around just around you know in to into inside to well to smooth that line you know beneath between the between the sun and the well part around it and some again the yellow and this is it well, this looks a little bit more smoother now. That's fine. That's what we want because, you know, when just when it's quite, you know, this part just, well, I didn't want, I want it to be smoother. So, you know, if you don't want to, you don't have to do it. So now we're just going to take some, some towel, tissue, and just pick up a little bit of the paint. You know here and there and it's still quite wet so the paint will get back into those parts a little bit you know but I just do want to make it lighter in some parts so I will pick up some of the paint also here like that just I'm just using C straight I just I did not squish it just using like this flat tissue and just slightly I'm not pressing it also hard I'm just slightly tapping in and you know see this looks very beautiful now and very sunset like <laughs> so now I will dry this Well, this is now completely dry and you know there I do have some pencil traces I did not light my sketch enough so I will take some uh, razor and just be careful if you have a razor well I want to show you just a second like this one this is this eraser leaves ugly markings so and it is um, it is uh, well how do, um, hmm, softer this one is a softer and this one is quite hard so um, I wouldn't recommend using the soft one here because it will well it will leave those ugly markings and this one is quite not soft hard hard it's it's hard so if you are in a if you're looking for such a raise such a razor that doesn't leave markings when you erase it later on on your paper you should look for a harder 
eraser and well this one I'm not really sure which one is it I will maybe this is also Faber and Castell I will try to find this this one goes on a pencil see and I will try this is just I, I haven't actually used and found any any uh, better eraser than this one it's absolutely awesome and I will try to find it maybe I can find a link for it not sure I bought it in my local store Miller it's actually called so those who are in Europe I'm not sure if there is a Miller anywhere else in the world I know that there is in Europe it's a German store and if I bought it there so I believe you can find it there and maybe somewhere else where you can where you have Faber and Castell you can find this just a second I'm just looking for my for this just to move it uh, and maybe you can find it you know this this one is just as I said goes on a pencil and it was uh, packed in two this one this gray one and the other a red one I have uh, spent the red one I used the red one and don't have it anymore I think I think I don't have it I'm not sure and this one I'm still using and I, as I say it's really actually very very good and it doesn't leave any markings on your paper and I just when I found it I was just so well I was just so happy to find it and you can see I can raise later on but you know the only problem is that when I do erase it that that is the reason why I don't actually recommend that when I do erase it later on I'm just also erasing and picking up the paint so that is good in this case like this when you just need a board to uh, erase the border but not really when you're uh, painting over your sketch and later on you want to erase sketch because you will also raise watercolors and now we will just also wet this part lower part we won't be doing anything else to the sky I think the sky is fine and <clears throat> I'm sorry and I think we won't be doing anything else to that and this now I will just I won't so privet the entire just part of the paper and you know what when you're privetting part of the paper and not the entire just when you finish just the edge pick up the water from the edge and you will make sure that you don't have this ugly line but just when you do pick up the paint when it dries it won't leave that ugly line so now I'm using again that larger brush and now we will use that Mars Brown and I will just let it mix into my Rose Sienna, it doesn't matter. I love those two colors and well they're, they are a little bit similar and I love that, uh, I love Mars Brown because it has, when it dries it has this uh, granulation, well it looks very very good, I love it. So I'm doing this upper like this motion and I'm painting it horizontally because I do want to make an impression that there is just some again grasses weeds you know and that is the way you can achieve it just going upwards and not trying to paint it not trying to paint it horizontally because when it dries it, it won't leave those impressions that there is just some some well, weed, grass, whatever there. So I first I used the side of my brush for to get the thicker lines and now I'm just using the top of my brush and just going slightly. See like that, I'm not really pressing too hard, I'm just slightly well gliding on my paper. There you go, like this. See, it already <laughs> looks like there is some weed there. And I will also use, I did not plan, but I will use a little bit of, a little bit of sepia and you can use any darker brown just for the lower parts here because I do want that part to be a little bit darker. So I will use some sepia in that lower part like this some more and there you go and if it some goes upwards that's fine also like this see how many variations we get from just two colors 
you know, because more saturated, less saturated. And now I will just dry this and we'll finish it off. Okay, this is now dry and I will use a smaller round brush to paint in the last thing we want to paint, the weed. And I, I am using mix of sepia and burn uh, and Mars Brown and you have to take quite amount of the pigment so try to get it on your palette as well as as more pigment as you can as more saturated as you can and now we're gonna pick it up just a second I want to just take yes the towel and we're gonna make a couple of weeds and we're gonna make them pretty tall and you see what I'm doing I'm just putting the top pressuring a little bit and then again just lifting up and then we're gonna do the one here also just slightly pressing pressing it all the way and just again picking up and that is what I'm doing and we're gonna we can do one here again slightly pressing it fully and just picking it up and just make a couple of here Maybe one taller one. And up. And one maybe just here, straight one. And here. And we can do maybe just a couple of smaller ones also. And like that. Like that. I need a bit more water because you know I can't pick up the paint anymore like that this one did not have enough water in my brush and maybe I was thinking maybe just one like this going upwards from our canvas and here couple of smaller ones and like that I think this will be enough we don't want to go overboard with that and I will take now script brush and you can use you can also use a round brush with more pointy tip if you don't have a, a script brush doesn't matter <laughs> don't don't get upset because of that. You can do it also with that. And just boop, slightly downwards to make the stems. A little bit more water. Like that. This one is out from a canvas like that again a bit more water I'm missing some water in my brush and this one goes like this like that and the one more thing we're gonna do to them is just add the top you know just small line on the top like this just just a slip slight tip on the top tip on the top <laughs> like that like that there you go and we're gonna do some leaves pressing it whoop just go upwards press it this one upwards some on the other side see they're not really perfect Mine aren't either perfect, so don't be really bothered with that. See how I'm doing it? Just going with this tip and then pressing it a little bit harder and downwards, fast, downwards, tip, harder, downwards, tip, harder, downwards, tip, harder, downwards, like that. See? And I will take that again, smaller round brush add a little bit more color here on my palette like that and add a couple of now 
those those would be something like leaves you know like this from a lower part they don't have to go all from the from the end of your paper there you go see and i will just do one more thing i will just rinse my brush dry it almost dry it on my paper and then pick up a little bit of paint and not too much water can dry it and just go from with the side of your brush just some couple of dry brushing see just to add a little bit more texture to the lower part and a little bit more of that darker color here because you know that part now looks as though these are just sticking too much just very different color and we wanted to blend them with our with our weed and with our grass that is down so we're gonna just do the dry brushing a bit and roll with the side just add a couple of see like that and there you go and the last really really last thing is i'm gonna use again that script brush but you can use again a smaller round brush and again mix those two colors sepia sepia and mars brown and just do a couple of splatters because you know what is the painting without splatters <laughs> and here like that I think it just gives that you know finished look and I think that is it we're done just take off the mat the washi and well I hope you guys like this video I think you will find it fun it's very easy to paint you should definitely try it even though if you're a beginner see it's very very easy not really any special techniques and well I hope you like it if you do please hit the like button share it comment and well if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel it would really mean a lot to me and well I hope I'll see you next time bye